Shaolin Showdown is one of the best fighting and magic cartoons that we have seen in our childhood. The cartoon is about four young teenagers who are training to fight evil, Kimiko Tohomiko Omi, Raimundo Pedrosa, and Clay Bailey. Shaolin Showdown consists of three seasons and a total of 52 episodes, which we are going to sum up from start to end. And without any further delay, bring some snacks because this is going to be a long video, and let's get into it. Kung Fu Shaolin's Background Dragon Warriors have been around for a long time, and they are called Dragon Warriors because their spirits are linked to dragons. But that's not all. Their essence must be pure so that they connect them to the dragons their entire life. The Shang Gong Wu are powerful magical objects, each with a unique power created by Grandmaster Dashi and are meant to help humanity. However, they also destroy it if used badly. When things go south, there's always the cosmic dragon who is asleep somewhere and can help the Dragon Warriors, and this dragon is the representation of the universe in its entirety, and because they there is good in the world, there's also evil. And this last is represented by Wuya, an evil witch who wants to dominate the world. Wuya was defeated 1500 years ago and trapped in a wooden puzzle box by Grandmaster Dashi, the greatest Shaolin dragon of all time. Their battle is considered to be the first Shaolin showdown, and this story has many versions because Master Feng changes it a lot of times. Wuya getting locked up wasn't the only outcome of the battle because Grandmaster Dashi scattered all the Shen Wang Wu all around the world after they had been used to keep peace for generations. Generations. The artifacts can only be tracked by Dojo Kenojo Cho, their guardian of the ancient scroll of the Shen Gong Wu and the dragon that the Shaolin warriors ride on. According to legends, this whole story took place thousands of years ago, and even Master Feng says he feels young like when he was a hundred years old. This also indicates that the disciples of Grandmaster Dashi are more than a thousand years old, and we will know why later, so that we can learn the story of one of the strongest Kung Fu warriors out there. So, among the warriors, Grandmaster Master Dashi had many disciples, but his most outstanding ones were Chase Young and Master Monk Guan. The two had to train extremely hard while their masters slept, which was the norm at the time. Although he was exceptionally skillful and strong, Chase Young was deceived by Hannibal Roy Bean told him that he could only achieve his destiny as the greatest warrior of all time on the Halen side and showed a fake hologram of Chase Young's best friend, Master Monk Guan, in which Guan claimed that soon Chase Young would stand in his shadow. This convinced Chase to drink the Lao Mang Lone Soup, which drained him of most of his good chi, gave him eternal youth, enhanced his strength, and provided him with the ability to transform into a lizard at will, and the main ingredient in the soup is a dragon. But Chase, so overwhelmed by his new power, betrayed Hannibal Bean and sealed him in the Yin Yang world for many years. Chase has lived for so long that he has been around the world, and being the villain he is, he wanted to join forces with the Dragon Girl, but he couldn't connect with her because he was erased from the Brotherhood of Dragons. This infuriated Chase Young, which made him attack, create a mess, and hurt many of his classmates, and it was probably there where Grandmaster Dashi lost his life. Chase Young tried to connect to the Dragon Girl but to no avail, and the Dragon Girl chose another guy, so from then on, he was left with a thirst for revenge. One of the few people who remained alive was Master Feng, who left with the dragon to the temple. Master Feng has been raising a kid named Omi since he was an orphan in the Shaolin Temple, who has been chosen to become the Water Dragon of the next generation of Shaolin dragons and is also a relative of Chase Young, but the nature of their relationship is never explained. However, what we are sure of is that Omi resembles Grandmaster Dashi a whole lot, but nothing more than that. Some time later, Chase Young fought his partner, Monk Guan, and defeated him in a battle. Monk Guan lost his weapon during the said battle, and in order to get it back, Chase Young made him look for a dragon, as it was an ingredient in the Lao Mang Lon soup. Omi is not yet a dragon warrior because he hasn't finished his training yet, when Master Feng receives new students who are the dragon warriors just like him. Omi is supposed to be in charge of them, but they don't respect him enough because he is small and looks innocent. At the time of their arrival, they didn't have enemies, however, there was this guy named Jack Spicer, who always wanted to be a villain, but couldn't until he received this box as a present from his parents who were on a trip to Hong Kong. As you might guess, the box was the one in which Wuya was locked, so the moment he opens the box, Wuya's spirit comes out, and the evil witch incites him to gather the Shang Gong Wu to conquer the world. Now let's head to the main characters of the show, Raimundo Pedrosa. Raimundo grew up in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and makes several references to it being his hometown, which he saves from being destroyed by a volcanic eruption in The Last Temptation of Raimundo. He has eight brothers and sisters, along with several aunts and uncles, and his parents aren't mentioned, but it's assumed they're alive and present. Raimundo worked in a circus while growing up, and it was a terrible experience for him because he had to dress like a clown and clean after the elephants with monkeys throwing things at him. 
Kimiko Tohomiko. Kimiko grew up in Tokyo, Japan and lives with her father, Toshiro Tohomiko. Her mother and other family members are not mentioned. Her father is the owner of Tohomiko Electronics, one of the world's largest video game developers, and that makes Kimiko quite wealthy. Kimiko's relationship with her father is strained because Toshiro spends more time on his secret project, neglecting her in the process. She does not have a better relationship with her older sister, who was never around when Kimiko was growing up. However, the reason for Tomoko's absence is explained as her being an interdimensional spy under the alias Tigress Wu. Clay Bailey Clay grew up in Texas and lives on the beef ranch owned by his father, Daddy Bailey. As for his mother, the show implies she was present during his childhood, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Still, Clay receives a gift from his mother during the Chinese New Year, which implies she still keeps in touch with him. He has a younger sister, whom he refers to as his baby sis, while other members of his family are mentioned through passing comments. Omi There is little information about Omi's early life and his background varies between the original series and the reboot. He is the only monk that doesn't have a last name. Likewise, the status and whereabouts of his birth parents are never mentioned in either the original series or the reboot. His appearance shares similarities with Grandmaster Dashi, most notably their yellow skin. However, the relation between them has never been explained or elaborated. So, I personally believe that he is an ancestor of Grandmaster Dashi. In the show, Omi states that he is an orphan when Dojo tries to deceive him in Enter the Dragon by shapeshifting into his mother. His birth parents are mentioned in Omi Town, but whether they're still alive or not is unconfirmed. Confirmed. It's assumed Master Fung has been raising him and serving to be his parental substitute. Now that we're done with the protagonists, let's start with the first season. In the present day, Jack Spicer receives this box as a present from his parents who are on a trip to Hong Kong. Meanwhile, Omi at the Shaolin Temple in China must deal with the recruits Kimiko Tohomiko, Clay Bailey, and Raimundo Pedrosa. When the first Shen Gong Wu reveals itself, the Shaolin and the Heilin forces first meet, leading up to the first Shaolin showdown. It was against Jack Spicer for the first time, which Omi won and obtained the first Shen Gong Wu. From here begins the friend's journey to find Shen Gong Wu and fight not only Jack Spicer but several other villains. Catnappy also joins forces with Jack to obtain Shen Gong Wu and she won the Golden Tiger Claws in a Shaolin showdown until the warriors were able to obtain it at the end of the episode. While searching for the Sword of the Storm, Raimundo finds it but then loses it in front of the fat ninja. However, he becomes diligent in training for the next confrontation and wins the fight. Jack kills kidnapped Kimiko and sent in his chameleon bot in her place to steal the Shen Gong Wu right under the Shaolin warrior's noses. Omi, however, almost immediately senses that something's wrong with Kimiko, and it's not long until the Shaolin warriors discover the truth and save their friend. Throughout many episodes, events and attempts to obtain more from Shen Gong Wu continue from fighting in icy places to fighting a blue dragon that turns people into stone and also finding Shen Gong Wu in New York City. Later on, and in one of the best episodes, Clay's father arrives at Shaolin Temple, and when Dojo realizes that Clay's father had the Star Hanabi all along, the team is off to Texas to make sure that the Star Hanabi does not fall into the wrong hands. When the Star Hanabi activates, Clay must prove himself to his father while competing with Jack Spicer in a Shaolin showdown. As we said before and after so many events, we now reach the most important piece of the show. Jack and Wuya recover the heart of Zhang, and Wuya uses it to create Mala Mala Zhang using many Shen Gong Wu, which are Helmet of Zhang, Wushu Helmet, Two Ton Tunic, Third Arm Sash, and Fist of Tebi Gong, Jet Butsu, Shroud of Shadows, Eye of Dashi. With it, they were able to create an unstoppable demonic warrior who headed to attack the Shaolin Temple and destroy it. In the meantime, the students knew, so they fled to the mountain to hide and preserve their remaining Shen Gong Wu while the remaining warriors of the temple fought with all their might. At this time, Raimundo was worried about his teacher and disobeyed his orders and went to rescue him, which caused their hideout to be known and put their lives in danger. Luckily, and after a series of events, Omi was eventually able to eliminate Mala Mala Zhang using Golden Tiger Claws. However, after the great victory, Raimundo doesn't get promoted to Shaolin Apprentice level because he disobeyed Feng's orders, so Wuya persuades him over to the Heilin side. When the reversing mirror reveals itself, Raimundo leaves his friends upon winning the mirror to join Wuya on the Heilin side. He then steals the serpent's tail from the Shaolin Temple while Omi is grieving as he, Kimiko, and Clay see Raimundo flying away as they realize that Raimundo has betrayed them. With his Shen Gong Wu and the reversing mirror, 
Wuya can be restored to full power, so now the other Shaolin warriors must stop Wuya and Raimundo before Wuya can return to her physical body. Unfortunately, Wuya can return to her flesh and blood form. The remaining Shaolin apprentices must find a way to defeat her, and the only way they know how is to trap her within the puzzle box. Nonetheless, the only way to get one is for Omi to travel to the past and get one from the greatest Shaolin dragon ever, Grandmaster Dashi, with the help of Jack, who joined the team temporarily. But unfortunately, Omi was unable to return to the future due to Jack's stupidity. With Omi stuck in the past, the remaining Shaolin apprentices and Jack must find a way to defeat Wuya until they are captured by her magic warriors. When Omi does arrive, after having frozen himself with the Orb of Tornani for over 1,500 years, the puzzle box will not open for Jack Spicer or any of the Shaolin, and now Raimundo must decide where his loyalties lie. In a touching moment, Raimundo decides to betray Wuya and save his friends, opens the box, and locks Wuya in it. Raimundo then gets promoted to a higher rank after he returns to his friends and Omi offers Jack to stay and fight for good, but that does not work and he prefers to return to his old ways. With Wuya trapped in the puzzle box again, the Shaolin apprentices train feeling safe from the threat of evil and back to searching for Shen Gong Wu again, and go on many wonderful adventures such as Dojo's intense desire to collect Shen Gong Wu, he will destroy anything in his path in his quest to do so, he is locked in a cage to protect him from destroying everything. The Shaolin warriors also receive a warning from Omi's future self to get the sands of time, but when Jack Spicer gets it first, he collects all the evilest people from the past and himself from the future and uses his future self's knowledge of the locations of the Shen Gong Wu to beat the Shaolin before they can get to them. The warriors defeat Jack Spicer and his future self in the end. Then another adventure in which the warriors face their worst nightmares. Until we reach this important moment and the appearance of the strongest villain in the cartoon, the Shaolin meets the Tai Chi master, Master Monk Guan, when a new Shen Gong Wu reveals itself. He then brings a downtrodden dojo to chase Young, the evil master, in exchange for his fabled Spear of Guan, which he lost to Young many years earlier. When the Shaolin monks learn that Chase intends to use dojo as an ingredient for his Lao Mang Long soup, the Shaolin monks head to Chase's lair and try to save Dojo, only to be defeated by Chase Young's creature form, a reptilian creature possessing incredible strength and power who defeats them all with ease. Master Monk Guan then intervenes at the last minute and challenges Young to a battle with the monks and Dojo's freedom at stake. If he wins, they all go home safely, but if Guan loses, then they will all be Chase Young's prisoners forever. Monk Guan won the challenge and broke free from Chase Young's grip, then gave his sword to Omi in a appreciation. When an evil spirit takes over Clay's body and begins causing various acts of mischief, Chase Young tries to help Omi in training to save Clay from the evil spirit's control and attempts to get close to him for an unknown reason. At the same time, Jack tries to get close to Chase Young and help in his evil work because he is his role model. Mala Mala Jong returns and four times as powerful as he divided himself into the fearsome four using the Ring of the Nine Dragons. This sign of the end of the world can only be ended with the Emperor Scorpion, a Shen Gong Wu who controls another Shen Gong Wu. In the end, they get Shen Gong Wu in the showdown challenge and defeat Mala Mala Jong. In another adventure, the warriors meet Clay's sister Jesse in Texas and obtain one from Shen Gong Wu. We also meet Kimiko's father when the team goes to Tokyo when Kimiko learns that her father has been tricked into working with Hong Kong crime boss Panda Bubba. In order to prevent Panda Bubba from turning people into zombies, Kimiko must defeat him in a Shaolin showdown. After this long adventure, we will finally see Chase Young's intentions to include Umi in his team of evil. When Jack Spicer and the Cyclops trap Chase Young, Jack attacks the Shaolin Temple and steals all of the Shen Gong Wu. Omi frees Chase to help him, only for Chase to try to mold him into the evil that he sees in him. Chase Young then sends a training spy to the temple, but he is exposed and fights Umi in the showdown challenge. When Master Fung is trapped in the Yin Yang world by Chase Young, who frames Jack Spicer, the only way they can free him is with the Ying Yo Yo, which they lost to Jack Spicer. Omi is then tricked into going into the Ying Yang world alone, but when he returns with Master Fung, Omi's appearance and personality change for the worse because his good chi has been left in the Ying Yang world 
which has Omi turning to the side of evil and working alongside Chase Young. With Omi having been turned evil and now on the Hainlin side, then Chase restoring Wuya to her human form and Master Fung stuck in a meditative state, the remaining Shaolin apprentices must find a way to save their friend and their caretaker before it's too late. In the end, Raimundo, Kimiko, Clay, and Jack, who now is good, after leaving his evil chi in the Yin Yang world, are forced to flee Chase's lair after realizing that Chase is now more powerful than ever and in control of the world. While Raimundo silently grieves for Omi, who is unable to leave Chase's side and is mutated into a cat. With Omi still on Chase's side, the others try to figure out how to rescue him without surrendering. Dojo senses a strange presence at the temple. The translucent character that emerges from the Ying Yang world is the Chi creature. They trap the monster in the sphere of Yun. When Chase, Wuya, and Omi arrive at the temple, Chase releases the creature with the serpent's tail and it drains Master Feng's Chi, and then he tells it to go after Raimundo, Kimiko and Clay to drain the chi out of them too, leaving Jack and Dojo to get them back. Jack Spicer uses the Ying Yo-Yo and lures the creature back into the Ying Yang world. He uses the Ring of Nine Dragons to make clones out of him to hold off the creature while he picks up the monk's chi and exits with his evil chi back. Dojo takes the chi, the Ring of the Nine Dragons, and the Ying Yo-Yo and traps Jack Spicer in the Sphere of Yoon. After recovering the monks, they challenge Chase to a Shaolin showdown. It's a soccer game with no Shen Gong Wu involved. They win the game to gain Umi's freedom. Thus, he saved Umi from evil. In the end, they all achieve the level of Wu Dai Warrior. After the end of the second season, the third season began showing and a new evil character appeared named Hannibal Roy Bean, which resembles Red Beans as the name says. This villain was the reason Chase Young turned into a villain in the past. A new Shen Gong Wu, the Moby Morpher, has been revealed. Kimiko manages to get it, but it is soon stolen by the Ying Ying Bird. The bird takes it to Hannibal Roy Bean, the villain responsible for turning Chase Young evil and who Chase trapped in the Ying Yang world almost immediately after being turned evil. Hannibal Bean then tricks Omi by disguising himself as Jack into freeing him from the Ying Yang world and now Bean plans to unleash a new type of evil on the world. The team's adventures continue and in one of them, Omi discovers parents that he thought were his parents, but in the end, he knows they are fake and he's an orphan. Raimundo betrayed the team again and cooperated with Hannibal, but in the end, everything turns out to be just a test from Master Monk Guan. In the next episode, Hannibal Bean gets into Omi's head while he is sleeping and tells Omi that he should take all the Wu Dai Warriors Elemental Shen Gong Wu and master the power of the elements to become the Shaolin leader. He was able to actually master all the elements and engage in a legendary fight against Hannibal and defeat him. At this point, we have reached the last episode of the cartoon, which consists of two episodes named Time After Time Parts 1 and 2. So, Master Fung tells the monks that the leader will be revealed after they do their last quest, Omi decides to go back in time with Dojo and stop Chase from entering the Heilin side. Realizing that he needs the sands of time, Omi freezes himself for 80 years to talk to his old self, but he realizes that Jack Spicer has conquered the world in his absence. Omi successfully switches Chase Young's evil Lao Mang Long soup with pea soup, which stops him from turning evil. However, in exchange, the future has changed for the worse. Instead of turning Chase Young evil, Hannibal turns Master Monk Guan evil. Omi's friends are turned into farmers, while Master Fung is trapped in the Ying Yang world and Jack turns good once again. The Sands of Time was destroyed with the Kusuzu Atom by Hannibal Bean, which makes it impossible for Omi to go back and undo all of Bean's actions. After acquiring the soup Omi hid in the past, they are captured by Hannibal and his crew. Chase then sacrifices his good side to free the warriors. After the warriors get to the Hainlin Seeds Vault, Hannibal and his crew start a Shaolin show. Down. The warriors defeat Hannibal, Wuya, Chase Young, and Master Monk Guan in a four-way tag team Shaolin showdown. And when they win, Chase Young smiles briefly, showing that he probably wanted them to win. Omi then recovers his frozen past self, and the two make contact, causing a paradox that resets time back to how it was before, undoing all the changes. In the end, with time restored and the world back to normal, Raimundo becomes the new Shoku warrior and is named the leader of the Shaolin Dragons, with everyone happy for him, Omi included.
As all the villains gather together for a last Shaolin vs. Halen Cosmic Class showdown, the Shaolin Dragons charge in, resolute as always. This version of the show ended, but there is another that was released in 2013 as a sequel under the name of Shaolin Chronicles, so please let us know if you want a video about it. This was everything. We hope you enjoyed this video and see you in another one.